As you know boys, sad boy season is upon us. Party Next Door has dropped his first song since 1924. The news, it's out at last. Now for real, it's been like two years or something. And I'm gonna make a beat in the style of the news for Party Next Door's upcoming album, which is out in January, he tweeted. Now let's get into it. So I've loaded up a B minor scale. Um, and now I'm gonna go into the secret VST. Tyrell N6, I'm gonna grab a pad. I'm gonna set the project tempo to 117 BPM and lay down some chords. This simple chord, so I had this simple chord progression in B minor from Tyrell N6. The preset is called Pad Mixy slash SM. I'm gonna just up the attack a little bit because it does that. Cool. Oh god. Oh. By the way, I woke up at nine o'clock, which is very early for me this morning. I'm going to go into patch 2.6, uh, pads and strings, and then I'm just going to randomize and try and find something cool. So I'm not even going to reverse this. I've just lifted it up an octave. The preset is called in end stage in a dark phase. Um, and I've just upped it an octave and I'm going to use it as like just an upper layer of the melody. So both together sound like this. So I laid down this counter melody in the bass pattern. It's pretty repetitive, but I'm gonna change it to a different uh, thing. So I'm gonna render out this sample guitar real quick. So the effects I put on the guitar is I reversed it, I EQ'd it to just take all the lows out because I'm using it as a count melody. Put some chorus on it to get a bit more texture and a parametric EQ to boost the highs. And now it sounds like this, which I'm pretty impressed with to be honest. I think I may get a Rhodes because I'm going to use that as the counter melody. It's So I have this Rhodes pattern, it's just strumming the notes pretty much. So as you can see, this is my pattern laid out. It's everything playing at the first and then 
The only difference for the second half is I dropped the roads by an octave, so they sound like this. So I dropped it 500 semitones and did some simple EQ and mixing, now it sounds like this. So as you can tell, sad boy season is upon us boys. Now let's get into the drums. So I just added a hi-hat and a snare from my drum kit, it's just simple two step and just a simple four step. Right, now I downloaded this Party Next Door kit a long time ago and it has the best Party Next Door kick I have and I might use a few more drums from here. Now I'm adding the open hat called Sugar from my um, bias drum kit. Now the perk called laser. Keep it simple, no need for anything too extreme. So as you can see, I've just laid down some simple drums out of mostly my drum kit. Now I'm just going to get a bass. Here's the one called Bass Soft Ton 3 SM. Now the track's ready for laying out, just some simple EQs, reverbs, um, and I put a Camel Crusher on this uh, bass just to make it a bit more low end, a bit more distorted. So now let's lay it out. Now what PND does quite a lot is half time parts in the track, like the drums and the melody. So I'm gonna do that just for the outro. Yeah, basically it just plays the kick, the hi-hat, the snare, and the open hat, just as an outro. The track finishes around four minutes. Uh, intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro. So yeah, that was my Party Next Door tutorial for his new album coming out in January. Socials links will be in the description and on screen. Please follow me. My new sample pack and drum kit are out now. Links will be in the description. Please like if you've enjoyed and subscribe if you're not. Thank you and goodbye.